The dahlias are coming along. The beautiful, um, stunning flower here is getting sun bleached and it looks gorgeous. Look at the sun bleaching. They start out this dark rose color and they bleach to this romantic lavender. It's so pretty. And, um, my um, lemon fizzles are coming up and after the hummingbird has her fill I get the rest my clown gladiolas are perfectly offsetting the butterfly weed guys don't come for me I live in a tropical area that's the butterfly weed for me okay <laughs> this is confederate jasmine and we have more my dahlias haven't bloomed yet i bought them on clearance so i bought them late because i have a long season and i wanted them for fall dahlias normally bloom in the spring in my area sometimes in the winter okay <laughs> the foxglove is still doing fabulous and look who's joined the party my begonias are blooming god bless them and let's see what's going on over here this is exciting to me the regal lilies have asserted themselves through the sage bush and look at that peekaboo i see you regal lily isn't that cute with that yellow throat i love the trumpet lily so cute and she is growing through my um, dahlias. This one has a bloom on it, so I'm really excited. Oh, we got two buds. I'm really excited about that. It's my sunset um, runner bean. And um, so funny because I planted all these warm crops because they said it was going to be record heat. And then they just sent us a message. If you live by the beach, don't hold your breath for the record heat because the ocean is causing you to remain temperate. So it's maybe 75 degrees today. I got watermelon out here. I was just planning on doing the thing. I got butter bean seeds coming. Yeah, I thought, okay, this is my year. This global greenhouse warming <clears throat> okay i'm gonna have me some melons this year um oh well <laughs> we'll see what they do in any event the dahlias are loving this weather and that's my ornamental grass that i it's a perennial so looks like corn stalks so i like it it grows up tall right around this time of the year and gives me um what i consider a you know little bit of a fall decor you guys i don't know what happened i wonder if my gardener poisoned these because they were all doing fine and one is still doing fine but three of them are not that just doesn't make any sense um i know he was poisoning my cafe au lait um, dahlias and still is this is one of my cafe au lait dahlias thankfully it has a root system on it so it'll come again but for some reason he's evil you know he did some other stuff too and it's just because he's a ritualist if you go back you'll see how he put charms from his coven in my um, yard. You're like, why don't I fire him? 
because it's my mother's house and my mom must be okay with these practices, you know, because she saw the charms. We can't remove it yet because it's got some strong magic on it and it um, prickles if you touch it. Oh, look, a bee on the lavender that made it. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe if he, his contract were terminated, then the um, thing in the charm would leave. And so then I could remove it. But right now I can't remove it, guys. I would if I could. This lavender was the first one to die. I spend all this money on this stuff and I'm tormented by evil people. But um, God is in control. You know, the, the, no temptation has seized you except for what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. Um, one sunflower made it there. I'm very happy about that. I planted a lot of sunflowers. But... Um, I found out it's hard to grow sunflowers from direct in um, August. It's better to plant them, get them started, and then have them go from there. I planted these in pots and then put them out after I um, got them started. Those are basil. Basil is a hot plant. Um, as you can see, it's not doing that great because the heat that I thought was coming hasn't come yet, but it's doing better than it has in previous years. So we'll see what happens. Um, and I got a few sunflowers over here too, coming up. This sunflower has been here for a very long time and she's just taking her time. There's another one there thinking I might prop that one up because that one was growing down trying to get to more sun and had it gone up it would be in the sun pretty soon there's another sunflower uh, my last planting of gladiolas if you saw I was talking about all the gladiolas I got they're up over here I don't know if those are zinnias I think they might be zinnias I put some zinnias over here because some of the sunflowers didn't come up and I put oregano for a ground cover yeah, I know those two are zinnias, and there's some sage, but I'm not sure about that one, whether that's a zinnia or a sunflower. We'll all find out together, together, together. And um, these plantings, this is doing good. I've been deadheading it regularly. Looks like she's got a hornworm. Do I care? Nope. Um, hornworms don't do much damage in my area because I don't know, I guess maybe we have a lot of birds, but right about when they get that bold, it's usually they're on their last leg. This is my blue fountain. They said it would keep them um, producing flowers. I guess I was supposed to deadhead it, but I like the the little things that look like sparklers, so I'm not going to deadhead it. Um, it can just spread out, and I'll get more next year. Um, I put some tomatoes in here and a cayenne pepper as fall decor. See how that goes. Those are cherry tomatoes and some other kind of tomato, whatever tomato they had at the store. Um, happy to see some, some sunflowers making a presence here. I'll probably cut some more off the, off of my pelagorum there so that um, more sunflowers can come through. That is my garden today. I'm loving all these hot colors. I'm gonna try and put more hot colors over here for the fall season. Maybe some more marigolds and 
some zinnias and stuff like that, whatever I can get. I tried the large leaf basil. I ate it and it looks like it's slowly coming back. We'll see what happens. Um, this sage, I got a pack with bunches of them and um, this one hasn't recovered so fast, but it's still there so it will recover. Sage can be a slow starter in my area. Well, you guys, I'm looking forward to those delicious tomatoes. God bless you.